deeper and deeper into the cave looking for the urn of sacred ashes. Things to kill, things to kill. Okay, I got a new weapon by killing the strong guy in this area. It is called, um, where is it? Spell Weaver. Spell Weaver is restricted to the Arcane Warrior class, which is a kind of mage which is a cross between a mage and a warrior. Um, able to equip stronger weapons and have heavier armor and all that kind of stuff on. More effective at physical damage, yet retaining some measure of the mage's ability to do magic attacks and damage and all that kind of stuff. Unfortunately, I do not have I do not have an arcane warrior in my party, which normally you'd only probably maybe get your warden to do it if you start as a mage origin with your warden. I did not, and I could, I guess, get one of my other mages to do it, but I'm not likely to do that, so I'll probably end up just selling that sword once I find an appropriate shop to do so. Just, it's just a, like an idea of the kind of customization you can have approaching. with the different classes in this game. You son of a bitch. Where the hell did you come from? It shall be done. Shock bomb. Wonder what these Drake scales do. It is begun. Anything left in here? Very well. The First Blight, Chapter 3. Ooh, Restriction Blood Mage. It's another item specific to a spe special class. I may end up having Blood Mages in the future, so I will take this. Backtracking again. At least this time there shouldn't be anything for me to have to kill on the way. You know, unless some more enemies spawned in. This is a bigger cult than I was thinking it would be. I mean, this is huge. It's a lot of people. They really got lazy while doing this part of the, the temple, didn't they? I mean, the rest of it was like... Oh, well, like good architecture and columns and all that kind of stuff. Just a cave. Lazy bastards. Uh, okay. With the occasional torch. Oh, I see block wall. Yep, got back into the nice part. Threw a hole in the wall. Oh, oh, they got lazy again. There are more. Hmm, it's not a bad bow. 
Hold on, I'll see if I can take it. Alright, moving on. Oh, back out of the good part. Why am I not running? What's happening here? Your wish. You slowed down. Oh, okay. That's why. I used an item so I could have some more space in my inventory. But I gotta wait for it to cool down because it's slowing me down a lot. Hey, this guy wants to talk. Sweet. Stop! You will go no further! Oh, is that so? You have defiled our temple. You have spilled the blood of the faithful and slaughtered our young. No more! You will tell me now, intruder, why you have done all this. Why have you come here? I've come for the urn of secret ashes. You did this all for an ancient relic. Know this, stranger. The prophet Andraste has overcome death itself. And has returned to her faithful in a form more radiant than you can imagine. Not even the Tevinter Imperium could hope to slay her now. What hope do you have? You're mad. Andraste is dead. You know nothing! Andraste revealed herself to us! We are her chosen! To arms, my brethren! Andraste will grant us victory! Well, that got out of hand. Well, let's do some killing. Son of a bitch is taking my help down really fast. I'm not getting any good support from the other characters. They're not keeping any attacks off of me. Dead. Moving on. Dumbass. Very well. He's got all sorts of cool stuff, though. Ha! I am going to take everything he has here. But of course, I'm going to have to work for it. Give me a sec. Okay, uh, I kind of rushed through that decision a little bit quicker than I had really intended to. That man was about to off... If I had been a little bit more receptive to what he had been talking about, he would have offered me a chance to do something different here. Yes, a dragon in Dragon Age. He would have given me an offer to go and play things. It wouldn't want to eat me anyway. Tough and stringy. You, on the other hand, ought to be worried. Instead of doing what I'm intending to do here, which is to go and take a pinch of the ashes and then go back to so I can cure Earl Eamon. What that man would have done is give me an offer. If I had gone and poured the blood of a dragon into the urn of sacred ashes, I would have defiled them, and I would have given gained a new ability called a Reaver specif specification, or specialization rather. And it's sort of like, kind of like a, what a blood mage is for a warrior. 
use up some of your health in order to go and do badass things. Had I done that, though, uh, both Liliana and Wynne would have freaked out and tried to kill me. So I probably wasn't going to be doing that. But we do have to kill that dragon. So let's get let's get on this. The Gauntlet. Anytime now. We we must be close. This is holy ground. I can feel it. I bid you welcome, Pilgrim. I'm here for the urn of sacred ashes. You have come to honor Andraste, and you shall, if you prove yourself worthy. So, I have to fight you? It is not my place to decide your worthiness. The gauntlet does that. If you are found worthy, you will see the urn and be allowed to take a small pinch of the ashes for yourself. If not... What is the gauntlet? The gauntlet tells the true pilgrims from the false. You will undergo four tests of faith, and we shall see how your soul fares. Can you tell me anything else about this gauntlet? You will understand what it is when you face it. Very well. I will enter the gauntlet. Before you go, there is something I must ask. I see that the path that led you here was not easy. There is suffering in your past. Your suffering, and the suffering of others. You abandoned your father and mother, leaving them in the hands of Rendon Howe, knowing he would show no mercy. Do you think you failed your parents? My answer is my own, Guardian. Very well. You know your own heart. One wonders why you are afraid to answer such a simple question. Perhaps your reticence says more than you ever could. What's past is past. Why bring it up and open old wounds? I don't really know about these Guardian types, but I think the correct answer was yes. And what of those that follow you? Ask your question, Guardian. I am ready. You are ever the advisor, ready with a word of wisdom. Do you wonder if you spout only platitudes, burned into your mind in the distant past? Perhaps you are only a tool, used to spread the word of the Circle and the Chantry. Does doubt ever chip away at your truths? You frame the statement in the form of a question, yet you already know our answers. There is no sense in hiding, is there? Yes, I do doubt at times. Only the fool is completely certain of himself. And you? Why do you say the Maker speaks to you, when all know that the Maker has left? He spoke only to Andraste. Do you believe yourself her equal? I never said that. I... In Orle, you were someone. In Lothering, you feared you would lose yourself, become a drab sister, and disappear. When your brothers and sisters of the Cloister criticized you for what you professed, you were hurt, but you also reveled in it. It made you special. You enjoyed the attention. Even if it was negative. You're saying that I made it up for... for the attention? I did not. I know what I believe. Ah, the dwarf. You left your home and came to the surface 
knowing that... Why don't I save you some time? Yes, I wish I could have saved my family from Bronca. I wish I'd been a better mate. Maybe she'd have stayed home with a belly full of baby Ogren and never gone for the anvil. Maybe I failed her. And yes, I came to the surface because I'm barely a dwarf anymore. My family is dead. My honor as a warrior long gone. I've lost my caste and my house, and I have nothing else to lose. The way is open. Good luck, and may you find what you seek.